Hey Parker, it's Wednesday, so it's another nighttime vlog because I, I've been busy. But first, I feel like this is only appropriate. So I don't know if I've told you or I might have, I don't know, I can't remember. But I recently started working at a big box store, uh, I'm not gonna name names because I find that kind of weird. But I recently started working there, I've worked there like four weeks? And I actually really enjoy my job, everyone's nice. I have a pretty much as much fun as I can have working. It's not a bad gig. I even get paid a little bit above minimum wage, which I was expecting absolute minimum wage considering I have no qualifications. So sometimes at the store nothing happens and I'm only folding clothes and straightening things up for nine hours. Eight hours? Eight hours, technically. Which is no fun. But then other times strange things happen, like literally it seems like I'm on a sitcom. So one night towards the end of my shift as I was straightening up some racks and talking to the girl who works the phones, I like turned to see a customer walk by and she's holding a dog. So I immediately turned to the girl and I'm like, that girl's holding a dog. Uh, I'll name the girl I'm working with Jane because that's the easiest name I can think of. So Jane quickly leans down to the, her radio and she goes, there is a dog. Our assistant manager comes right on the radio, of course, you know, when, you know, of course now was when he comes right on the radio and he goes, what, what? Jane goes, there is a dog in apparel going towards the front of the store. So a couple minutes later, our ASM comes by and we say there's a girl walking around with a puppy in her arms. It looks like a small white poodle. Good luck. So he makes a full rotation around the store, comes back, says he doesn't see anything, and we're like, well, this girl's here somewhere. I don't know if you missed her, or I don't know if she left, or what. So at that time, it's the end of my shift. I go, I clock out, because I'm not staying late to hunt down a girl with a dog who may or may not still be in the store. That's not my job. Plus, there's also a lot of complicated laws and rules about service animals, and as a just associate, it's not my job to figure out if it's a service animal or not. That's my assistant manager's job. So the assistant manager takes another run around the store, I clock out, and I'm walking towards the exit when I see her, the girl with the dog, sitting in the lobby. I make a full 180. I'm frantically looking for this, for the, my assistant manager, the girl Jane I'm working with, anyone, any of the assistant managers, just kind of anyone in a managerial position who can handle this because I'm new I don't know how to handle this and as I'm turning in circles looking for my assistant manager I look down the frozen food aisle or like down the refrigerated section and I see her another woman putting a dog into a cart it's at this point that I give up go I'm off the clock I'm not gonna run around hunting down dogs. It's not my job. So I just found someone who works there with a the radio and said, can you radio the assistant manager and tell him that the first girl with the dog is outside in the lobby, but there's another woman with a dog who's walking by food. I'm off the clock. And so long story short, I don't know if we ever found the dogs. I don't know what happened. I haven't seen the ASM since that night. The girl I was working with says, I don't, she doesn't know what happened to the dogs. No one knows what happens to the dogs. I feel like I need a Snuggie. I do this too much, but I also want the warmth. So I just have no idea what happened. And this is why I say sometimes working there's like on a sitcom. Sometimes nothing happens and I just do my job and I fold clothes for forever. But then other times just everything explodes and happens at once. So that's my experience so far working in retail. I've also been yelled at by a lady, but that's a story for another time. It wasn't my fault, by the way, but I feel like that's every retail worker's opinion, but whatever. See you on Friday, DFTBA. Stay super. Bye!